Huawei has a brand new flagship phone in the form of the P30 Pro, and here it is. And uh, here's another one. Obviously very shiny and very colorful things, but it's the camera setups on the back that Huawei is going to be hoping pushes this phone over its competitors like the Galaxy S10. So there are actually four lenses on the back of this thing, the most interesting of which being this odd square one down here. It apparently uses a weird prism periscope system to achieve a whopping 10 times lossless zoom. Now that should let you get close up on details that on any other phone would look all mushy. Now I have given this a little try already with the help of a friendly local pigeon and I'm quite impressed with what I've seen. But that's not the only thing that's new. Huawei has apparently also tweaked the main image sensor so it captures light in a different way than you'll normally find on phone sensors. Now it's all a little bit too complicated to go into here, but what you really need to know is that apparently this lets in a lot more light, so images in low light situations should look a lot better. That's helped by stabilization and various other AI tweaks, which apparently helps keep shots looking nice and sharp even during long exposures. Huawei's P20 Pro and Mate 20 Pro are already excellent in low light, so I'm very keen to see whether these new tweaks have brought any kind of upgrade. The fourth sensor is this little one just here, and this is called a time of flight sensor. Essentially what this does is provide more depth information to help give more natural looking bokeh around your portrait photos. At least that's the idea. There's a whopping 35 megapixel front facing camera tucked into this little teardrop shaped notch right here. And Huawei reckons that it's given this a boost in low light and HDR as well. We'll be putting all of these cameras through their paces very soon, so do stay tuned for the verdict there. Beyond the camera, this phone does have plenty of other top tech to be excited about. It's got a 6.4 inch display, which looks lovely and vibrant in my hands on time so far, and is powered by Huawei's top end Kirin 980 processor. There's an in-screen fingerprint scanner, fast battery charging, and reverse wireless charging, letting you charge a different device just by holding it against the back of the phone. The standard P30 is really more of a light version as it lacks the depth sensing and super zoom cameras. It's the less exciting of the two, but it does at least have a headphone jack on the bottom, so that's worth bearing in mind if wired headphones are still important to you. They're both good looking phones with this curved glass design and there's a range of interesting colour blends to choose from. Personally I do quite like the lighter tones of this breathing crystal option on the P30 Pro. Huawei also has a set of wireless headphones which you can pair and charge just by plugging them into the USB-C port on the bottom of your phone. There's no official word yet on pricing or availability for either the phones or the new headphones, but we do expect to hear more in the coming days. So what do you think of Huawei's new flagship P30 Pro? Is this 10 times lossless zoom enough to tempt you away from Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus? Do of course make sure to let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe for a lot more from CNET.